Konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist. Today I have a very exciting listing video of my brand new listing here in the Cascades community in Summerlin West. This home that just closed a few weeks ago features four bedroom, four bath, two car garage, a den, a loft, and a bonus room that features spectacular views of the Strip, downtown Las Vegas, and even mountain views. It's an unobstructed view of the city lights, and I can't wait to show it to you on this video. So we're now inside this beautiful home, and I forgot to mention the list price, which is $940,000. And the great thing about this home, it's brand new, it's never been lived. So again, everything is like a model home. And today we have beautiful staging done. So again, staging is very important to us because you can now, as buyers, imagine how it would look like when you actually move in and see furniture placed here. So let's go take a look at each area. So starting with the kitchen, and I do want to mention that this home has over $90,000 in both structural and design upgrades. And let's talk about that. What does that mean? So when you buy a new build, you have a base price, you have a lot premium that is added on top, and then on top of that, you get to decide your stru structural and design upgrades. And that's usually a percentage of the home that could vary from anywhere from 20 to 30%, just depending on how much and how fancy you want to make your home. In this particular case, my investor buyers bought this as a spec home. So a spec home is when the builder calls out all the structural and design upgrades for you and they start building the home so the home is move-in ready much sooner than when you were to actually go through the whole process of buying the lot and going through the process of structural and design upgrades. And most of these new home builders are doing that right now because of the shortage of supply and labor costs and supply costs. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. So what they're doing is they're building more of these spec homes that are ready to go instead of having these buyers go through the whole process and buy the lot and do the uh, structural and design upgrades because that also saves a lot of time as well. So starting with the kitchen, I absolutely love this um, upgraded quartz counter. We also have the upgraded uh, backsplash over here that matches the quartz. And uh, we do have these uh, custom and upgraded 42-inch cabinets over here. Um, they're all soft close as well. Um, all the appliances are stainless steel GE appliances that's included. So we have the microwave, the stove, and the dishwasher. And again, when you're buying a new build, the refrigerator and the washer and dryer do not come with the house. That's something you'll need to buy. So now moving along. First of all, I just love all the staging that was done by my friend Hanny from Stage Easily. I just want to make a quick shout out to Hanny. Um, I've never seen bar chairs like this, have you? It's all warm and fuzzy right here, and I think it's super cute. And actually, the sofa matches the bar stools. So again, moving on to the great room or the entertainment room over here. We've got a very spacious area, lots of natural um, lighting from all the windows here. You know, we really wanted to have an opportunity to do the staging so that people could feel what it's going to be like when you were to come in, sit home. Obviously, you'll have a TV here and relax and kind of enjoy the space right here, which is a very nice open concept. Moving on to the dining room. So it's very nice. We've got slider doors right adjacent to this. We've got lots of lighting. And again, you know, I love personally that it's an open uh, format because as a mom, you always want to know where your kids are and you always want to see what everyone else is doing. So from the kitchen, you could have a whole wide view of what's happening in your living room and your dining room space. And also, let's talk about outdoors. So we have these slider doors. Take you all the way open. So we've got slider doors, come on outside. So for new builds, um, the patio 
The pavers are done for you, especially if it's in a covered area like this one. So this is really nice. It's very, it's covered already. You've got nice, you know, outdoor patio area. Um, on the side of the house, we actually have a barbecue stub for the gas line. So if you were to do a, a, a barbecue, you could definitely hook that up. Or if you want to do your barbecue on the other side, let's say on the other side of the, of the, um, the backyard area, you could actually dig down and get the gas line um, underneath through the landscaping. Now, as a new build, the landscaping does not come finished so that is your responsibility and depending on the HOA it's usually about a year you have a year to finish your back uh, backyard uh, landscaping and as you can see this is a very spacious backyard so you could easily put in a pool you could do a spa you could obviously put turf or grass area if you have pets lots of creativity in the backyard is available here so as we walk up to the second level, I just want to let you know that we're going to transition from this tile flooring that we have throughout on the downstairs, the first level, to the upstairs. We have these uh, upgraded, very soft and cushiony carpet. So let's go upstairs. And actually, just midway is the powder room. So the powder room is right here. And it's kind of nice because it's not right on the same level as the open area. It's kind of tucked away. So you could come up, come up and, you know, the guests could use this powder room anytime and then go back downstairs to the main area where you're entertaining guests. So as you walk in, we're going to start with these additional bedrooms first. So this would be the first bedroom. Very nice size with closets. Um, again, you know, looking from the window, I'll just kind of point to you the direction we're in. You can see the Red Rock Casino from here, which is right, you know, outside the 215 and the Charleston exit. So again, as far as location goes, Cascades Community, we're off the 215 and Far Hills exit. And we're just less than 10 minutes away from downtown Summerlin, where you have restaurants and shopping and the ballpark and the City National Arena where the Golden Knights team practice. And we're only 10 minutes away from the Red Rock National Park. So if you're, if you're a great outdoorsy kind of person, you love hiking and rock climbing and biking, that's only 10 minutes away from your home. This one has three windows, so I love how we have the corner windows so we can really maximize the views and see what's outside the city views and the mountain views. And, you know, just have, being in Summerlin West, we're elevated, so you can see a really nice view of the, of the strip. And I can't wait to show you the upstairs coming soon. So as, as we go towards the third bedroom, take a look at this. We have this den area where I think it's a great like a bonus room or bonus space. So if you have families, this is perfect for where the children could hang out. Maybe it could be a little TV room or entertainment playroom. This is a really nice area where they could share. It's a shared space right in between the second and the third bedroom. Again, very nice and spacious. Another window, closet behind me. So three bedrooms here on this side. And then behind us over here, we have um, the bathroom that the three bedrooms will be sharing. So dual sinks, and I do wanna mention, it is an upgrade to get the second sink. Usually standard for new builds, it usually just comes with one. So if you wanna get an upgrade, you could get two. And obviously if you have multiple children like I do, it's always good to get two sinks, not one. And again, behind me, we've got the shower tub. And then we're going to go down this hallway to the primary bedroom and also the laundry room. This is where you have your washer and dryer. Again, as a new build, it does not come with the home, so you have to buy your own. And for those of you, you know, shoppers that love Memorial Day weekend sales, I hope you took advantage of that because there were a lot of great sales for washer and dryers. And then bringing you to the primary bedroom, I did have the primary bedroom staged, so check it out. And then we'll start with the, the bathroom here. So dual sink here, big window here with mountain views, tub, shower. Behind me we have the bathroom and then a very large closet here. So again, you know, you could definitely get custom closets and custom, custom organization done here so you could have more space for all of your clothes and your shoes. So what I absolutely love about this primary bedroom is that you have your own private balcony off to the side. So let's go take a look. 
So this is a very nice oversized balcony here from your primary bedroom. So you could obviously have some nice, nice lounging chairs or tables. Maybe you want to have coffee here in the morning. I do want to point out you do have strip views over here from your primary uh, patio. So from here, obviously what stands out is obviously the red Resorts World, right guys? Who's been to Resorts World? Comment below and let me know what you think of it. Um, we've got Resorts World to the north side and it goes all the way down to Mandalay Bay, even the Allegiant Stadium where the, our uh, Las Vegas Raiders play. And actually you could also see downtown Las Vegas as well from here. And it's just a very nice panoramic look. And so if this is the view from the second floor, can you imagine what the views will look like from the third level? Let's go check it out. I do want to mention these upgraded um, staircase uh, railings. So these ones over here, this has been upgraded. If you want a standard railing, it will actually just be a pony wall. It'll be the solid pony wall right here. But again, having this upgraded railing opens up the space. And don't you love how big and spacious this bonus room is? So I brought my daughters here and my youngest one does gymnastics. So you could only imagine what she was doing here in the bonus room. She was flipping and cartwheeling and back handsprings all over. So this big bonus room is great. I mean, you could use it for all sorts of things. It could be your office space. It could be a movie room. It could be an entertainment space. And what I love about this third level is you also have your own bathroom here as well. So I'm saving the best for last. Are you ready to see this beautiful 360 view of the Las Vegas Valley with me? All right, let's go check out the third level balcony. We're nearing July 4th. So if you're looking for a place for a fireworks show, this would be the place. Have a look at this stunning view. You have unobstructed, elevated views of the Las Vegas Strip. You've got downtown Las Vegas to your left. And if you actually come over here, I just want to point out what's going on here in Summerlin West. And look how big this um, roof deck is too, guys. So all the land that you see over here behind me that's um, kind of bare is going to be all future development. And I talk about West Summerlin West a lot because this is the last parcel of land. We have about 5,000 acres of land here in Summerlin West that is gonna be future developed, including more residential, commercial. We're gonna have a park. We're gonna have what um, the commercial area is gonna be called the urban core. We're gonna have a lot of activation here as well as freeway expansions. The 215 freeway currently stops um, and doesn't go further west, but it will be. And it will go all the way into those mountains there. And along the mountainside, we're expecting custom lots. So if you've seen any of the videos I've done in McDonald Highlands or Eskaya, those are kind of the custom communities that's gonna be developed here in the next 10 plus years. So again, if you're an investor, I highly recommend you checking out Summerlin West because there's so much opportunity and so much growth. And you can only imagine the equity that you're gonna have on your house especially coming in now when it's not developed and just picture all of this being developed right in the next few years and obviously it's going to be you know 10 20 years until it's fully fully developed but there's just so much equity and so much opportunity here in Summerlin West and that's why I have so many under contract here in Summerlin West. So what did you all think about my new listing? I would love to hear from you. So comment below. Let me know what your favorite part about the house was. And now that we're all wrapped up with this video, I think I'm going to sit here and lounge here. I'm actually going to be having uh, hosting a uh, broker's open this evening. It's going to be a twilight viewing of this beautiful property. And what is a broker's open? I think a lot of you have asked me that before. A broker's open is a preview of a listing before it goes on the market. Um, I plan to list this um, listing on the MLS sometime tomorrow. So I wanted to give all my realtor and broker friends an opportunity to preview this home before it goes out on the public and onto the third party um, websites like Zillow and Redfin. So yeah, wish me luck. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. This is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist. If you have any further questions on Summerlin West, you know what to do. And thank you so much for liking, subscribing and engaging with me. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.